Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Today is Tuesday, May 11th. It's a good day. All right. Well, good to see everybody. Thanks for coming. Let's get into it. So let's go to our warm up questions. So I'm going to go to Schoology, Core 1, 2, 3, or 4, whatever your class may be. Click on the green folder and scroll all the way down to Tuesday, May the 11th. Good day. All right. Let me get there. And so our question is a science speak, so I want you to think about this. Do you think that self-driving cars are safer than human-operated vehicles? Why or why not? We had a similar question earlier on in the year about, I think it was more about, you know, do you think we'll see the self-driving cars in our lifetime? Something along those lines. And this one's a little bit different. They're saying, do you think that those self-driving cars are safer than human operated vehicles. Okay, so obviously there are some ways that they're gonna be safer and some ways that they can break down and they don't have that human element and that things could go wrong. So then in some other ways that uh, they may not be as safe. So it's really just your opinion and you just say why or why not, why you feel that way or why and why you think it's not as safe. Uh, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and go ahead and put your opinion, okay, your comment down in the comment section and then make sure you guys post easy points don't miss out. Don't miss out. It'll be right there for you. Okay. So if you need some time and you're watching the video on your on your own, you go ahead and pause. You can pause right now. Pause face. Oh, it's hard to do that for a while. All right. Well, welcome back. Good to see you guys uh, today. Really excited. So yesterday we were talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. So there's all these different types of electromagnetic radiation on this spectrum. So I'm excited to give you this project, our final project for the year. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to come up with a product, a device, an electronic device, and you're going to try to sell it to your customers. Your customers will be me and your classmates. But uh, yeah, I just think that so you guys will come up with your design. You can draw it. You can design it online or something. And the catch is that whatever device or devices, whatever, whatever you come up with, it could be fictional, something that you invent because it's, you know, you're just going to draw it and, or design it. You not necessarily have to build anything. Or it could be something that is already existing, or you can add on to it, whatever, you know, something that already exists, or combine a couple things. But uh, it, they use different types of electromagnetic radiation. So to sell your items, you're going to need to present to the potential buyers information about that type of radiation that it uses, okay? So I'm going to assign you a type of radiation, one of the seven that are on that scale. But if you don't like the one that I assigned to you, it's really not a big deal. Just please let me know and I can switch it up. It's fine. You just tell me which one you want. You want, Okay. So you can use this template when you click here. Okay. And then you have to make a copy. But you can use this template for like a slideshow because you're going to be presenting. Okay, not to the class, but probably in a smaller group. And I feel free to use this template. You can change things up like the backgrounds or whatever. The words are totally fine. So a welcome to electricity. Get it? City, huh? So we came up with that last year because we, we turned my classroom into an electronic store. It was a lot of fun. Of course, we can't do that this year, but uh, it's the store for all your electronics needs. That's what they came up with, and I enjoyed that one. So next slide. Everyone you know is going to want to have one of these. It's called the blank. Please don't call it the blank. <laughs> but uh, it, you, you put your product in there. So and then maybe insert a picture of it. So you're going to draw it. You're going to maybe make a model of it, do a model in Minecraft or some other some other thing online that you guys know of. Um, we can use Can Canva okay, to do something. Uh, but I have all that information later. So here he talks about here there are so many different types of electromagnetic radiation. Our product is, is able to function by using. So it's going to be the one that was chosen for you. So maybe it's the gamma rays or it's the visible light or it's the microwaves, something like that. So you can kind of use that arrow to point to it if you'd like or something. Maybe you don't do, delete that and do something different and circle. Uh, the wavelength of this type of radiation is typically blank. We're going to have to look that information up, find that information for us. And the frequency is typically whatever. This product is incredibly safe. However, there are some dangers involved with this type of radiation it uses. So you're going to have to kind of list some of the dangers. We don't want to sell a product and say, well, there are some dangers, but we're just talking about that type of radiation. The type of radiation, and you can change the words on here too. You can change the backgrounds. This one's kind of boring. It's kind of yellow, but it's a... Uh, Type of radiation used by our product is usually used in some of the following ways. Okay? And here are some other things that use this type of radiation besides your product. Okay? And here are some really cool and important facts about the type of this type of radiation our product uses. Okay? So you can do some cool and important facts. And then here's how you can use our product 
okay, not our product, but like your product in your daily life. Because remember, you're trying to sell this thing. And then we get to the towards the end of the slides and it says, get to our store and buy it now. And then you might want to give some like final reasons, like to really try to convince people why they need to buy your product. Really sell it, even if you're not convinced. You're just like, nobody needs this thing. <laughs> it's a, really try to convince us, okay? And then maybe one last picture. You don't. You can get rid of the slide if you want, but maybe just I thought maybe another last picture of your product. It says project. Sorry, I'll I'll change that. <laughs> it's a, so I mean that's just a possible template. You guys can do your own thing. You don't necessarily have to use Google Slides. You can use what you want. This is the the instructions right here on how to do that. And I think I missed one link here, but I'll. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's at the top. Here it is. <laughs> the project instructions. So you can click on here and you can get this. And so it has the different things. It does have on the page numbers on where, like, if you were assigned radio or sorry, radio waves, uh, then you would know where to find it on page 427 in your textbook. Infrared over here is 428, and a lot of them are 428. Gamma is on 429. Okay. Uh, so here's the potential slideshow. If you guys want to use that, change it up. You can use your own thing. And then this is core one, core two down here, core three, and core four are slowly coming in there there we go and you can click on here to get the list and so this is what I've assigned to you okay I'm it's really not too big of a deal if you're like oh man radio radio waves I didn't want that that's okay please let me know and we can choose something different uh, one, one last thing because I want to let you guys have some time to think about this start doing some designing is uh, I want to show you I just clicked on the instructions here for you guys which is taking a while and, uh, but there's a lot of good information here if you want to look at it. And uh, you can click on here because there are some suggested products. Okay, There's another dock here that will give you some suggested products, things that use that type of radiation. You know, radio waves, there's radios, television, shortwave radio navigation, air traffic control, cellular telephone, okay, remote controlled toys. Microwaves, microwave ovens, mobile phones. So I'll let you guys go through these on your own. And I can help you through and talk you through that if you'd like. Uh, so that's good. Gives you the electromagnetic spectrum right here. It has a checklist of all those things that were on that slideshow of things that you should probably do. But you can use Sketchpad, AutoDraw, Miro Art, Editor Method, Draw Island. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Draw.2, <laughs> Canva. Google Drawing, you can draw on paper, create a model, use Minecraft, etc. So this is just some different things. So it says you'll make a presentation about the type of radiation, create an online, any online presentation tool. I have a whole bunch of different tools. Actually, there are a bunch listed right here. But uh, you can do this slideshow if you want. That's the, that's the template that I had before. Uh, you go on to tr if you want to try to use something other than Google Slides, there's Haiku Deck, Powtoon, Prezi, PictoChart, Emaze, Biteable, WeVideo, Slides.com, or any other presentation tool. There are some good websites that you guys can reference to. Otherwise, the textbook starts on page 424. You can use the internet to help you guys out. All right. I'm excited about it. I don't want to say too much more just because I want you guys to get started and get working on it. And then I can answer your questions. I can give a little bit more information tomorrow in my video. But um, yeah, I mean, have fun. Maybe today's just kind of brainstorming and maybe jotting down some ideas on paper, maybe kind of doing some sketches some designs or maybe you start the slideshow you do a little research on the on the type of radiation that you have okay so i'm excited about it Whew, that was a lot but please let me know if you have any questions okay i'm here for you last project i'm excited about it and then i can't wait to kind of get in the breakout rooms and small groups and everything and try to sell your product to everybody in the class including me all right well i do have to say goodbye so i'm going to say take care be safe be awesome Bye. Here's the full me. Oh, there I am. Bye.